Wherever we go, we come across changes that are constantly happening. For example, the burning of candle, rusting of a piece of iron, or grooming of flowers, and so on. Some of these changes are physical and some are chemical in nature. For example, I am crumbling this piece of paper. This is a physical change because the sh there is no new substance formed over here. Only the shape and appearance of the paper has changed. Let me try out with another strip of paper where we are going to burn it. The burning of a paper is a chemical change because a new substance is formed. Now this is another example. This is a foil made up of aluminium metal. Just think about it. Now today we are here to have a demonstration to see the mixing of two elements, sulfur powder and iron filings. I am going to mix both of them together. Now I'll bring a magnet near the mixture. The iron is still attracted towards the magnet because the properties of iron has not changed on mixing with sulfur. Hence it is a physical change. Now I will heat this mixture. Will the properties of the mixture change? Let us see. We have just seen a reaction where iron combined with sulfur to form iron sulfide. Let us see iron nails getting attracted towards magnet. Will the rusted na nails get attracted? Even rusted nails get attracted. 
what is this rust on the iron nails? This is chemically iron oxide, which is formed by the combination of iron and oxygen present in the air. Iron oxide is a compound. We have got iron oxide here. Will it get attracted towards the magnet? Iron oxide is not getting attracted towards magnet. Then why does rusted iron nail gets attracted towards magnet? This is so because iron nails have a thin coating of iron oxide on them and there is still iron inside. That is why they are attracted by the magnet. A combination reaction is a reaction in which two or more elements or compounds combine to give a product. Some of the combination reactions are very slow and many other are fast and some are spectacular in nature like the one I am just going to show just now. This is a strip of magnesium metal. We are going to bring it to the flame. Lights off. Besides heat, this reaction also produces a lot of bright light. Let us see what is this white ash. This is magnesium oxide obtained by a combination reaction of magnesium with oxygen present in air. I have a question for you. Is this magnesium oxide, the white ash which is obtained, heavier or lighter than the original magnesium metal? This is why magnesium is useful in Diwali fireworks. You must have seen the charcoal burning. Let us see it as a demonstration in the laboratory. We are going to identify the gas with the help of lime water. When charcoal burns in air, it produces a gas. Let us see which gas is produced. We can see the milkiness appearing in lime water. Now we are going to see another example where an element combines with a compound to form another compound. This is a utensil made up of silver. You must have noticed a black deposit on silver utensils. What is this black substance? This is a compound formed when element silver combines with hydrogen sulphide present in air. This compound, black colored compound which is formed is known as silver sulphide. This turns the silver black. Can we bring back the shine on silver?
let us see i am scrubbing this utensil with a dry washing powder that will help to bring back the shine of silver can you notice any change now you can see the difference this portion is shining and this is still having the black deposit this is mercuric oxide and this is mercury you already know mercury is a only metal which is in liquid state and it is highly dense can we convert mercuric oxide back to mercury yes of course let us see let us observe the time also we can see the decomposition reaction of mercuric oxide mercuric oxide here is decomposing into mercury the shiny globules that you can see and a gas mercuric oxide on heating decomposes to give mercury and a gas this decomposition reaction that we are observing now was first performed in 1774 by an english scientist joseph priestley he called this gas lively air because it made candles burn more brightly now we know this lively air is actually oxygen in a decomposition reaction a compound breaks up into two or more products let us see some more examples of a decomposition reaction Here I am having copper carbonate. Let us try out with this. we are going to heat copper carbonate the green color copper carbonate is turning black and some gas is also evolved we can see the lime water turning milky this is the carbon dioxide gas released this piece of chalk is chemically calcium carbonate we are going to see a decomposition reaction of calcium carbonate right now
this is a similar reaction as we have seen for the decomposition of copper carbonate but here the calcium carbonate will not change its color it will remain white the products which will be obtained will be calcium oxide and carbon dioxide carbon dioxide will be tested in lime water we can see the milkiness appearing in lime water here is a compound lead nitrate I am going to heat it. Observe what happens. This compound is lead nitrate which is breaking down into a brown gas which is nitrogen dioxide. So in this program you have seen many examples of chemical reactions. Some of them were combination reactions and some other were decomposition reactions. There are many other types of reactions which we are going to discuss in our next program. So we will come back to you with many more interesting reactions.